真我真 Good morning, praise the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made, and we will indeed just rejoice and be glad in Him. It is a beautiful day, and we are grateful for the gift of a new day. I'm glad to be the one that is doing this morning devotion with you, and I want to welcome you. I'm glad that you are able to join in with me. Let us pray before we even begin. Father, we give you thanks. We are grateful that you have given us a new day. We thank you, Jesus, that you have watched over us, Lord. We thank you that you have kept us. And we are grateful for every blessing that you have for us. And Lord, as we begin our, our prayers this morning, we invite your presence. Father, we pray that you will be with us. You will speak to our hearts. You will minister to us, Lord. Father, you will meet us at our very point of need. Thank you for my viewer. Thank you for my listener, oh God. I pray, Lord, that you will do that which only you can do. For you said in your word that when two or three are gathered in your name, you are in the midst, and that your word does not return void. So, Father, I pray that even as we read scripture this morning, as we read your word, oh Lord, it shall impart the lives of your people. It shall transform them, renew them, refresh them, Lord. And, Father, at the end of the day, the glory is yours, and our lives will be transformed. And so, Lord, we thank even as we invite you. Take over, O oh God. You say that the Holy Spirit intercedes for your people. Holy Spirit, we welcome you into our prayers. Intercede for us, Lord. Pray on our behalf. Because, Lord, you know our needs. You say that before we even ask, you know and you answer. And so, Father, we come to you, trusting you, believing in you, that you have already done it. All for the glory and honor of your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Now, in the book of Matthew, chapter 16, we see Jesus is having a, a, a conversation with his disciples. And he is asking them, who do people say the Son of Man is? And they are giving all manner of answers. Some reply, John the Baptist. Others said, uh, people are saying that he is Elijah. And uh, another one replied that, uh, others say that you're Jeremiah, John the Baptist, Elijah, and whoever. So that conversation goes on. But now Jesus stands to them and asks, asks them, the disciples, but what about you? Who do you say that I am? And Simon Peter answered, you are the Messiah, the son of the living God. And this response that Peter gives seems to really catch Jesus. He is uh, really uh, fascinated. So Jesus responds, re responds to Simon that, Simon, son of Jonah, for this was not revealed to you by flesh and blood, but my Father in heaven. And I tell you that you are Peter. This rock I will build my church, and the gates of heads will not overcome it. Now, one thing that comes out is that Jesus is really concerned about how we understand him, what we believe that he is, how we know him. Now, Jesus shows the, how important Peter's statement of who he is he was in his identity as the Messiah and the Son of God and the rock of foundation will be built and uh, he, he he really takes this seriously and he tells Peter after that he tells Peter that on you Peter you're the rock and I'm going to build my church so it's really important how we view how we perceive who Jesus really is so now later on in scripture we find Jesus telling the people of who he is. So today we are going to pray to to Jesus in in, uh, in relation to who he says that he was. So who did Jesus say he was? That is our basis of prayers this morning. Who did he say that he was? Who is he? Because he was, he is, and he will be. He does not change. So who he said he was? He still is, and he still will be. So that is what we are going to base our prayers on this morning. John chapter 6 verse 35, Jesus says, I am the bread of life. Jesus told them, those who come to me will never be hungry. Those who believe in me will never be thirsty. I am the bread of life. He told them, those who come to me will never be hungry. Those who believe in me will never be thirsty. What is bread? Bread is food. What does food do? Food nourishes us. It gives us strength. It satisfies our hunger. Now, Jesus is telling us that he is our food, that he satisfies our hunger. He fills us. He gives us the strength and he, he nourishes us. 
but how does it do it he does that he nourishes us spiritually he means that we are not uh, we cannot be satisfied spiritually unless we know who he is we cannot be filled unless we know who he is we cannot survive and unless we depend on him because food is actually for survival he fills us to satisfaction he nourishes and he also strengthens us he strengthens us we are always hungry for something you and i we always try to, we are always craving for things we are always hungry for something we are hungry for more food we are thirsty for more drink we are hungry for thirsty for more money we crave for wealth we crave for good things even relationships and our dreams do not satisfy us people in relationships you find there's always more you always want more but jesus is telling us that he is the one that satisfies you and i even today he is inviting us to this table he is inviting us to the table that he has laid before us he has laid the bread before us so that means that when we follow jesus when we believe in him when we believe in him and we follow him he is going to fill us he is going to satisfy us now today we want to turn our hunger we want to turn all our craving in this journey of life to hunger that will drive us past the wants and to the needs past the flesh to the spiritual to, to the spir- spiritual now i want us to pray for satisfaction that jesus has already promised that he is the bread that is going to satisfy us he is the bread that is going to fill us he is the bread that is going to give us life so i want us to pray this bread into our day to day i want us to pray this bread into our life pray that his food will satisfy every craving especially for craving for things that do not lead that not lead to life especially the cra- the craving that we have for things that do not glorify his name now jesus has earlier said on that the bread of god is he who comes down from heaven now this bread is actually a person because he's saying the bread comes from heaven and it's not the bread that moses had given to god had given to the israelite during the days of moses no this bread is a person it is not the physical bread that we eat it is the bread that is a person I want you to pray for yourself. Pray this bread into your life. That any craving that you have in you that does not bring spiritual satisfaction, that does not satisfy you, that God will deal with it and that you will desire more of the Lord, that he will fill you to satisfaction. There's a song which sings, fill me up until I overflow. Pray that to yourself. Let the Lord will fill you up until you overflow. You overflow with his goodness. You overflow with his love. And as you overflow, you're going to touch others. You're going to impact the lives of others. Lord, we give you thanks this morning. Thank you for reminding us, Lord, that you are the bread of life. That you are the bread of life. That we need to just come to you, Lord, and be filled by you. We thank you for laying that table for us, Lord. We thank you for inviting us to you. That we come to you, Lord, and be filled to satisfaction. You are the only one that can satisfy us, Lord. You have told us that when we believe in you, we will never thirst, thirst again. That when we follow you, when we come to you, we will be fed by you and we will never be hungry again. Father, we thank you for you have freely given yourself to us, Lord. Yet we seek after you and we do not get satisfied. But Father, today we want to have a turnaround. We want to seek after you, Lord. We want to be filled by you, Lord Jesus. to satisfaction help us dear lord that we will desire more of you lord that lord we will learn to trust and only obey you lord that we will always consent to you lord jesus to satisfy us we will always and only consent to you jesus to satisfy us and to fill us oh god help us dear lord that we will remove our craving on the bread that does not satisfy us to you oh god the bread that comes from heaven the bread that gives us spiritual satisfaction the bread that gives us spiritual nourishment lord how we long for you today Father we desire this kind of satisfaction Lord that we will never thirst again that we will never ever hunger again Lord Lord we are reminded that all is vanity all else is meaningless Lord so Lord may we crave for more of you that and that and less of the of whatever is meaningless Lord may we crave of crave for you Lord Jesus and less of what is vanity Lord Jesus like a deer pants for water Lord I pray for my viewers I pray for my listener Lord Jesus create in them that deep craving for you King of Kings that Lord 
they will never feel that they have already had enough of you, Lord. But Father, they will desire to have more and more of you, Jesus, that they will crave for you, Lord, for satisfaction and not other things, Lord. And so, Father, may you remember them. Father, may you satisfy our souls, Lord. Continue to satisfy us, Lord, that you will fill us, Lord, till there is an overflow and that our cups are running over, oh God. Help us that we will truly set our hearts and our minds on things above, oh Lord, above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. And as we do this, dear Lord, we pray. Lord, you have said in your word that seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these other things will be added unto you. As we come to you, Lord Jesus, as you fill us, oh Lord, we pray. May you take care of the other things that you have talked to us about. About, Lord. May you take care of the other things, Lord, that you have talked to us about, Lord. I pray in the name of Jesus, you will make a way where there seem to be no way, Lord. And Father, even as we crave for you, Lord, you will create streams for us in the desert, Lord, where we are where we are feeling dry, Lord, you will fill us, Lord, and create streams, Lord, and make a way. You will heal those that are broken hearted, Lord. You will give peace to those that are restless and confused, Lord. Father, you will give rest to those that are burdened. Oh Lord, the bread of heaven, fill us to satisfaction. Fill us, Lord, and nourish us, Lord, that, Father, our cups will overflow, that our cups will overflow, oh God. Oh Jesus, Father, we pray that as we fill us, rivers of life will flow from us, oh Lord. Streams of life will flow from us, Jesus, changing the world and imparting those that are around us only for the glory and honor of your name. Father, we thank you. We honor you, Jesus. John chapter 8, verse 12 says, When Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. I'll read again. That is John chapter 8, verse 12. It says, When Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Now, in this portion of scripture, Jesus was busy preaching at the temple. And uh, he was interrupted by the religious leaders. They came and threw a woman at his feet. Now, the woman had been caught in adultery, according to them. The religious leaders they just had a plot to trap Jesus so that they may find a reason to accuse him. They, they were not concerned about the woman. All they wanted was just to find a way to trap Jesus. So they threw this woman at the feet of Jesus. But Jesus saw through past their evil plans. Now, instead of being ambushed, Jesus turned things around and he's, he turned to the woman. He, in fact, Jesus spoke very little. He, he he knelt down and he was drawing on the ground and he asked the woman, he told the woman that I do not condemn you, go and sin no more. And after that, Jesus turned the script around and he turns attention to himself. That is when he says that. Because now the, chap the, the verse says when he spoke again, he had been quiet. So when he spoke again, he turns the attention to himself. And that is when he tells them that I am the light of the world. If you follow me, you, you will not stumble through darkness anymore. Living light will flood your path. Now, instead of joining the accusations against the woman, Jesus has turned the spotlight on himself. Now, he who said that, let there be light, he is now saying that I am the light. He is now saying that I am the light. If you feel alone in darkness, come to me. That is what Jesus is saying. Do you feel alone in the darkness? No amount of darkness can extinguish this light that Jesus is telling us about. That he is the light. He is the light. Do you feel alone? Do you feel condemned? Are you feeling confused? Are you discouraged? I want you to call on to Jesus. He is saying that he is the light that gives life. He will give life to you so that you can begin again. He will also give life to the dead situation. So I want you to pray this light into your darkness. Pray this light into your darkness. Ask him to take the lead. As you follow him, he will light your path so that you do not stumble, so that your foot will not slip. I want you to pray for yourself today. Pray, ask this light to light your path, to fill 
your heart where you feel this darkness where you feel you're discouraged this light will lift you up so can we pray can we pray this light into our lives today father we thank you god in our midst there are people who feel so discouraged who feel ignored who feel confused who feel lost my lord i pray even those that are feeling hopeless those that are feeling betrayed oh god like the woman who was caught in adultery father you gave hope even as you said that you are the light thank you jesus that you are inviting such as this such as people like us lord to follow you so that we will not walk in darkness because you're lighting our path and you're giving us life oh god lord jesus we cannot see our future we cannot see the day, our destination we don't even see the direction that we are to take lord but we are not anxious because father you have promised us that you're ready in our future you're lighting up our future oh lord so lord today we surrender to you lord we surrender every fear lord we surrender every fear of the unknown to you jesus every bit of anxiety and worry lord we surrender to you jesus because you're the light of the world you have brought light lord into our destinations and you know that life we know jesus that life awaits us we know lord jesus that good things await us lord and so father for anyone that is feeling in the dark lord i pray may you send your light of truth lord your light of truth lord to someone who is lost may you continue lord to light their path father lord jesus may you send your light of truth for someone who is lost and they're confused father you said in psalms that your that your word is a light lord that your light that your word is a lamp unto our feet lord jesus that your word is a light unto our path oh lord father that is what you say may somebody feel you lord may may your word bring light oh god into somebody's path this morning may your word light the way oh god even as our feet uh, step today lord every step that we take lord jesus may we be guided by the light that you're giving unto us may your light of life dispel every darkness lord of ignorance and even death lord so that we do not perish but enjoy the life that you have already promised in your word oh lord father i pray this morning for anyone in our midst who is not connected to you lord convict their hearts lord that that create in them that desire lord to follow you and make you their light and the source of life in the name of jesus father i pray this morning that we will be found to be people who love the light and not people who love darkness you have reminded us lord that we are children of light and not children of darkness may we live true to this scripture lord may we live to true to the scripture that indeed we are the children of light and not the children of darkness oh lord because you are the light that gives us life you have also called us to be the light of the world. May we shine our light before others, Lord. May we be the light that cannot be hidden, Lord, as we light up the lives of others with our good deeds, so that your name is glorified. Thank you, Jesus, for lighting up our dark world, Lord, with your with your light, Lord, with your presence. We thank you, Jesus, that your presence you have given us brings light into our world. And so, Father, we step into the day carrying your presence in us, Lord, because your presence gives light for oh God. your presence light our path lord jesus this light lord gives us shows us the direction shows us where to step lord and in every step that we take lord jesus this light leads us father we thank you jesus light of the world we exalt you we magnify your name lord be exalted John chapter 10 verse 11 to 12 it says I am the good shepherd the good shepherd gives his life for the sheep but a hireling who is not a shepherd one who does not own the sheep sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and flees and the wolf catches the sheep and scatters them Jesus is saying that I am the good shepherd a good shepherd gives his life for the sheep Jesus is the good shepherd that is what he is saying one thing i've realized from the scriptures that we are reading when the lord says that i am the bread he says come to me when the lord says that i am the light he says follow me so you see god wants us to participate he is not just there doing things for us he wants our input 
And how do we participate? How do we take part? He is telling us to follow him. He is telling us to to come to him. And as he is telling us that he is our shepherd, he is telling us that we need to trust him. That is how we participate. We do not just sit back and just let, and let him do things. And God is not forcing us. He le- he wants us to take part. Now, Jesus says that he is the good shepherd, the one that is ready to lay down his own life for the sake of his flock. We are the flock. Jesus compares himself with the hireling and he thinks that the hireling is doing it for money. So he does not care. All he cares about is, him, is himself. And he does not care about the welfare of the flock. The hireling does not care about the welfare of the sheep. When a wolf comes, he runs away. He takes off. He takes cover and he leaves the sheep exposed to danger. And what happens is that the sheep are attacked by the wolf and they scatter. That is what the hireling does. But Jesus is saying that he is the good shepherd. He takes care of us. He takes care of the flock. He watches over the flock. He does not run away where there is danger. Instead, he lays his life for the sake of his flock. Now, the good shepherd is described very exclusively in in Psalm by David in the book of Psalms, chapter 23. You can read that. Now, Jesus is the loving and the selfless good shepherd. Now, today, I want us to pray this good shepherd into our day and into our lives. Pray for his cover. Pray for his protection. Pray for provision. That is what the good shepherd does. He, we, we want to thank him just for allowing us to be among his flock. He called us and we already came to him. He says that we know him. He knows he knows our names. If you read the whole of that portion of scripture, John chapter 12, it says that, it says he knows the sheep by name. Can you imagine? Jesus knows you by name. He knows me by name. And we know his voice because we have allowed him to be our shepherd. That is how we participate, by just allowing him to be our shepherd. How do we allow him to be our shepherd? We do not walk in and out of the flock, but we have to abide. We have to abide. So pray that he is going to help us, that we will abide. We will not take off. We will not step in and out of, of his flock, but we will be counted among the flock. And that we will give him that we will consent to him to be our shepherd and pray that as as our shepherd we will enjoy these things that he has promised us in psalms 23 can you praise a uh, pray this shepherd into your day father we give you thanks we thank you lord that we are yours that we belong to you lord that you call us your sheep we are grateful that we are your sheep lord father because You care for us, Lord. We do not lack anything because you are our shepherd. Father, we don't lack anything. We don't lack any good thing. Your hand is always protecting us, always covering us, Lord. You are a good shepherd. You know your sheep by name, Lord. And you lead your sheep to the right path. You make us to lie down in green pastures, Lord. You restore our souls, Lord. When we wander away from you, you're willing. You take us back, Lord, into your warm and taking us back to you Lord Jesus Father you leave the 99 to look for one that is the kind of shepherd that you are we are so happy Lord we are so grateful that Lord you are our shepherd oh God you lead us beside still waters you revive Lord our spirits Father today we pray that Lord we will enjoy these promises that you are giving us as our shepherd I pray for my listener Lord I pray for my viewer today that indeed they will find rest in you. Those that are feeling like they are on their own, Jesus. Oh Lord, I pray. May they be reminded that indeed you are with them. May they allow you, Lord, to take the lead. That Lord, that you will lead them to green pastures, Lord. That Lord, you lead them beside the still waters. Remind them, Lord, that you are such a caring shepherd. Because Lord, you are our shepherd. We can be still. We can be still, Lord. We can relax just knowing that you are our God. Knowing that you are our shepherd. Knowing that, Lord, you are doing things for us in the spiritual. The one who promised never to leave us. The one that promised never to forsake us. That is you, our good shepherd. Oh, good shepherd, Father. You promised, Lord, that nothing shall, and nothing can ever, nothing will ever separate us from your love. Father, we thank you, good shepherd. 
oh Lord, if there is anyone that is following this stream this morning, Lord, and is des- in a desperate state, Lord Jesus, I pray, may they hear you, Lord. May they hear your voice, Lord, calling them, Lord, by name. May they hear your voice, Lord, calling them by name, oh God. Calling them not by the issues they carry, Lord, but, but by their name. Lord, just the way you called the woman with the issue of blood, my daughter. Lord, I pray this morning that my viewer, my listener, Lord, who is listening and they are in such a desperate state, they will hear you call them by their name, Lord, my daughter, my son. I am with you. I will never leave you. I will never forsake you, Lord. I am watching over you. May they hear you say that to them this morning, Lord, I pray. Father, I pray that they will believe you when you tell them that you are indeed the good shepherd. They will believe you, Lord, when you tell them that you will never leave them, that you're watching over them, you're protecting them, Lord. You're hiding them, Lord, under your wing, Lord. Oh, Jesus, I pray that God... May they know that you're the good shepherd that is ready and more than willing to lay down their life, your life for them. And you already did that for them, Lord Jesus. And all that they need to do, Lord, is come to you. All they need to do is run to you, Jesus. That, Father, you're feeling them and you're satisfying them, Lord. May they feel your protection, Lord, as you embrace them with your word. The word that says no weapon fashion that gets them will ever prosper because you are there Lord and you're covering them and that Father that they are safe with you Lord anyone that is following me today this morning and they are feeling weary Lord may they be reminded that you're the giver of rest Lord that Father you have invited them to you you're the good shepherd that gives them rest Lord that they can come to you and be assured that you're the one that is giving them rest Lord Jesus I pray anyone that is following this morning and they're heavily laden that Father, they can come to you, Lord, and exchange their yoke which is heavy with your yoke which is light, O oh God. That Father, they can come to you and learn from you, O oh Good Shepherd. That they can come to you, Lord Jesus, and learn from you, O oh God. And that Father, they will have teachable spirits. They will hear you, Lord, when you teach them what to do, Lord. That they will hear you, Lord Jesus, when you tell them, This is the path and take it, Lord. This is the way follow me, O oh God. May they hear you call them unto yourself, Lord. Convict their hearts, Lord Jesus, that they will trust in you and trust in you alone. That you're the one that gives peace. That you're the one that brings healing. That you're the one that brings deliverance, O oh God. That the, you're the one that sets free, O oh God. You're the one that sets people free and breaks chains. Chains that are binding people to backwardness. Chains that are binding us to issues of life, O oh God. That Father, you are our good shepherd. Thank you, Jesus, that you are lighting our paths, that we can trust in you. Father, may we, may, may my viewer be reminded that when they trust in you, Lord, as the good shepherd, that when they trust in you and make you their good shepherd, you do not disappoint. You have never disappointed anyone and you will never disappoint anyone, Lord. You're not about to change, Lord, because you are the same yesterday. You are the same today, and you will be the same forevermore. So, Lord, that is the assurance that I that I want my viewer to have today, Lord Jesus. That with you, Lord, with you, Lord, they are the majority. And if there's anyone that is against them, Lord, Father, when you are with us, who can be against us? When you are with us, who can be against us, Lord? I pray for my viewer and my sister this morning that may not be feeling well, or or is standing in for a sick loved one. Father, I pray that they will hear you reassure them that by your stripes, that by your stripes they are healed, that by your stripes, Lord, they are set free, that you came so that you take away our infirmities, Lord God, that the good shepherd has come to take away our infirmities, that the good shepherd has suffered stripes in order for us to enjoy good health, that Father, the Good Shepherd has promised that even as we prosper in these other things, we will prosper in health. And good health is their portion. And that they are rising up again. Lord. May they hear you tell them, take up your might, your mat, and walk. Father, I pray that they will be drawn to you. They will trust in you and make you their Good Shepherd. Be exalted, O oh God. Be lifted, be magnified today. Lord, we honor you. We glorify your name, Lord. Father, may we be reminded to abide in you always. 
and just remain at your feet, Lord. Remain at your feet, even as we are buying in you. Father, we desire that we will be fruitful today. We desire, Lord, that today we enrich us. You have come to nourish us with good things. That, Father, you have come to light our paths. That you have come, Lord, so that you will light our paths and get us out of the darkness of this world. Thank you, good shepherd. Blessed be your name, Jesus. We have come to the end of our morning prayers. And uh, it is now time for us to worship the Lord with our giving. The pay bill number is 842050. And the Lord will bless you. And I just want to invite us all to our church this evening. We have our midweek service, which is called the Turning Point Service, which begins at 5.30. I want to welcome you all. Uh, we are located along General Matenke Road, right opposite Aga Khan Hospital, next to Mamangina Gas, Karibuni Sana. And on Sunday, I want to welcome you to our church service. The first service begins at 7.30 a.m. You can come fellowship with us and go to work. And the second service begins at 9.30 a.m. I want to welcome you and let us just pray even as we conclude. Father, we thank you. We thank you for the time that we have had together. We thank you that indeed you have come down and we have experienced the Holy Spirit reign on us. Father, we thank you for answering our prayers. We thank you, Lord, that today we are stepping out. We are stepping into our day with confidence that you have told us that you are the bread of life, that you satisfy us, that you fill us up, Lord, until our cups overflow. And that, Father, you have told us that you are the light that gives us life, that you're lighting our paths, Lord Jesus, and we are not going to walk in darkness. And Lord, we thank you because you have reminded us that you are the good shepherd. And Father, we can go out knowing that in you, Lord, with you, good shepherd, we are safe. And so, Father, we thank you for this assurance. May you be with us, Lord, throughout the day. And Father, I thank you for those that have given. I speak a blessing over them. I pray, Lord, that you will indeed bless the work of their hands. May they never lack, Lord. You said, Lord, that we trust you. And as we do this, I pray, Lord, you are a faithful God. May we experience this. May we experience you, Lord, in this area. Father, we thank and we glorify your name. In Jesus' name, amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen, amen. God bless you.